Are you new to Tarkov? Trying to figure out how to mod your first weapon, but it feels like a box of Legos has been dumped on your lap and you can't figure out how to get any of the pieces to fit together? Have you looked up a YouTube video, but instead of teaching you how to mod any weapon, it teaches you how to mod a single weapon? In this video, I'll be teaching you how to mod any weapon you like so that it works for your playstyle, or even if there is a build you do like online, you'll be able to fine tune it to your needs. Hey guys, let's jump straight into this tutorial. I've gone ahead and purchased a standard AK from Prapper, but you can get started with any weapon you want. The techniques, these techniques will work for any weapon. Um, the most important thing for navigating any weapon modification is really going to be the link search tool. So you can right click on your weapon of choice and go to link search. And this will show you all the components that can attach directly on to your weapon now it's not going to show necessarily all of the items that are compatible there's a couple caveats that we'll get into a little bit later but this is your main source of navigation so for example sake let's say we'll start off with something easy let's say that i want to put a 60 rounder on this ak well i can do the link search I can go down, I know that magazines are part of the gear mods, and then I get this list of all of the items that are available. Um, by the way, this brings you to the flea market, which is the marketplace, so if there's not an item up for sale, it's not going to show here, but usually most of the re um, relevant mods will be up here, um, like the 60 rounders here. So I'm just going to sort by the cheapest. Even though I think I already have a couple, I'll just show you. I'll walk you guys through it. So I can go ahead and purchase one of these 60 rounder mags. And that is going to be compatible with this weapon. But you're probably here for more complicated mods. So why don't we get into that? So let's say I want to put a grip and also a scope on this weapon. As it stands, it doesn't look like there's really any slots for a foregrip or a optic so this is where things can get a little bit more tricky um, you kind of have to learn the parts and it can get a little complicated but I'll walk you through it so here we have a gas tube which has a handle on it so or a foregrip rather so if I take that gas tube off which is that front part there as you can see it actually has an item on it, which is the foregrip. So this is just the barrel, and this is the grip that is on the barrel. In order for us to be able to put a, a foregrip on this... Well, I guess it's a foregrip, but I mean like an actual like grip. I need to change this piece, because it doesn't have any slots for a foregrip. So what I can do is, since I know that the foregrip goes on this tube I can right click link search this tube and it'll show me all the handguards compatible with that gas tube so like this has a this foregrip has like four slots for a mount you can look at all the different ones this one's a little bit different it has different ergonomics and recoil I'm just going to choose, yeah, like this one. This script makes the AK longer. I'll just choose a basic one. This one's pretty cheap, and it's got four slots for modding. So we'll just go ahead. And now that now that this is here, I would have to take this uh, foregrip off in order to put this one on. And now you can see now we have a slot. So if you can see if I link search on that AK and I try to go for a grip, it doesn't actually show. So that's that caveat I was talking about where you're gonna need to actually right click on the foregrip because the piece that I'm looking for attaches onto it. So there's our foregrips and we'll sort by cheapest. I mean, this is where I, I'm teaching you the tools, not necessarily what's best. Any of these grips, they have usually like different pros and cons more ergonomics, more recoil. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't really matter too much. A lot of these come down to feel and play style more than like that the numbers actually being super relative. I'm just gonna grab the first one I see because it's a little bit cheaper. 
and I can drag it right on top of it since there's a free slot or I mean if I want to get particular I could drag it right there onto the foregrip slot so there we go we have a foregrip let's see if we can get a site now I could put a site here on the front I think I already have one in my inventory but if I wanted this on the slide right here this um, dust cover I need to add a rail onto that dust cover and the way I would do that is right click this go to link search and this is going to show me the mounts that are compatible the tactilla and I can go ahead and purchase this now a lot of these items that I'm looking at in the marketplace are actually available from the traders and so what you can do is once you find the item you like through the flea market you know that it's compatible with your weapon you can go on to the wiki page, you can search the exact same item up on that wiki page, and it'll show you the trader that sells the item, if they do sell it. So I'll leave that link in the description below, and I'll probably put it on screen too, but that way you can get items for cheaper. You, they're almost never... The items on the marketplace are almost always more expensive than what the traders have them for, so... If you're really trying to save money, I'm just doing this because it's quick and these items aren't too expensive, but that's a way you can navigate. So now that I've bought this, I can just drag it on since I know the slide has that slot for that mount. I can do that by dragging it on. I can double click on here, put it in this slot. All slots that the item has just show up in this overview though. So like if I take this off, the, um, the slot for it, disappears this mount slot or I guess it's this mount slot either way so what I can do now is I can move this site from this slot which is on the handrail here I can move it onto the rail and that moves it to the back of the AK and so that's going to make it a little bit bigger when I'm using it in game that is a hundred percent preference by the way so I can have this here towards the front the front which will make the site smaller that's my preference but your play style you might like it near the back and different weapons this is where you're going to learn to play around with your different weapons and kind of find what works for you and what you like so we've got that what else can we do so let's say we want a silencer on this weapon the silencer is going to go on the front the barrel slot or the muzzle slot and for different weapons this can get a little bit tricky. You're usually going to need a threaded barrel to put a silencer straight onto it, or you're going to need an adapter. I believe I believe you don't actually need one for the 74M. I, in fact, um, if you do a link search, you'll see if you can put something straight onto it. Muzzle devices. Yeah, there are... There are suppressors that'll just fit straight onto it. So why don't we just go ahead and do that really quick. I'll purchase this one. And we should be able to, now that we've taken off the compensator that was already on there, should be able to just drag that. Yep. Cool. And there you go. There's, there's more you can do with this system. And there's more items that you can mod. But this is the basics to understanding how you can navigate the modding system to get it to work for you. So right clicking like, like I know from experience that this stock has a slot for a, like a butt grip. If I do a link search on that, you can see it has a pad. And these are actually really good. They just straight up reduce recoil, give you a little bit of ergonomics. I actually recommend, they're, they're pretty cheap. I recommend putting them on your AK. You can get them from Crapper, I believe. And that just adds ergonomics and lessens the recoil. Um, the most important mods, I would say, are always going to be your grip and then like any sort of stock. There's tons of different stocks for different weapons, but those are going to be your two most important mods. All the mods after that really come down to fine tuning and aren't usually as big, you won't notice as big of a difference and how the gun feels and how it handles um, but those subtleties might make a difference to you so this is where playing around with your weapon is definitely going to help like you can see there's a slot for a charging handle which i believe adds like one ergonomics 
yeah, like this this little dinky guy here, it just adds one ergonomic. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but hey, if you if you already have the money to spend, why not, right? So it just adds a little a little tube there. I don't even know if you can notice, but it changes that like charging handle. Um, and yeah, and you can go on, you can add flashlights. It looks like we got a couple slots for that. This, you could add another scope, but you would have, you would be looking through two scopes at once. So that's not how I want to run my weapon, but anyways, these are the tools. This is how you navigate the modding system. The more you play around with it, the more you'll understand what to look for and like how how you can change the devices that are already on the weapon to fine tune to your needs. So we're going to do another example. I actually recorded one yesterday um, and I'm going to throw that in at the end. Okay. So we've got our Glock and we'll look into all the different mods for it. Now there's, if I remember correctly, there's actually a lot you can do with the Glock. So we start off with a basic slide. I don't believe you can add any kind of muzzle to it or any kind of silencer. Um, but why don't we take a look? So let's say I want a scope. Well, it's going to be really hard to fit a scope on here, but why don't we do a link search? I usually start off with the weapon and are there any optics? It doesn't look like there are. So what we might need to do is add another receiver. You see, this one does have front and rear sights, but no optics. And there is spot for a muzzle. So there's the moto cut. There's the viper cut. There's the hex spartan. This one has a slot right here for a scope. Let's see, does this one have anything for us? This one also has a scope. 30,000, 29,000. I guess it doesn't make too big of a difference either way. So... I can take off this slide and I can slap this one on here. Now I know right clicking the Glock isn't going to take me to a optic so I can right click the slide I just added that does fit an optic and now I should be able to find one. Yeah I can. That's awesome. So you can add iron sights but we want to go for the sight. It looks like the only one that fits is going to be this one right here, this small one. And so there we go. We added a little red dot sight to our Glock. Now let's say we want to add a silencer. I highly doubt a silencer is going to fit onto this barrel. Why don't we do a link search of this? Yeah, it's, it's not. <laughs> I don't know what this slot is for. I guess we'll do a link search of the Glock just to be sure. Muzzle devices, suppressor. Yeah, this is, you know, I'm just going to do it just to show you, but this is not going to fit on the Glock as is, or it is. Cool. I'm totally wrong. So there you go. There's a silencer. Um, this one, let's see what it does. Minus recoil, muzzle velocity. It's just adding ergonomics, well, it, like in a negative way. So I believe there is a way to get other silencers on this Glock, which is what I was trying to show you, but you know, there's a way. This one kind of mounts to the front of it. But if I wanted to add a more traditional silencer, not such a specific one, I believe we can go here. We can look at different barrels. And you, you usually want threaded barrels if you're gonna be attaching something onto the front like a compensator. I don't know what the specific differences are of this. This one adds ergonomics versus recoil this one does not as good recoil not as good ergonomics less muzzle velocity okay so this this gold one is the best one so what the hell we'll just get this one and then we'll replace this barrel with this one and now if I right click link search this one we should be able to find more traditional suppressors. There we go. Yeah, we got the Alpha Dog, which actually has a mount on it that you could put a optic. And we have the Silent Co, which is 
another more traditional silencer as well. But you also have the option of some muzzle adapters, flash hiders. This one's going to give you a little bit more customization than the last one. So that's another thing that when you're playing around with these mods, you can try to figure out what really works for you and what you need. I'd say this one's probably easier for most people, and it'll actually fit on that newer sleever too. But um, you could also have fit on probably a, a different silencer had you wanted to. And then let's let's get a little bit crazier with this one. I'm pretty sure you can add you can a pistol grip. So this is a tactical rubber grip that just straight up gives your gun more ergonomics. If you have the capital, the resources to do that, you why not? You know you're making your gun handle just a little bit better. And then if I wanted to give this more ammunition, I know the Glock has a like a 50 round drum mag or something. Oh, here's an extended, how much is this one? So this is 33 ammo. That's your standard. I believe that one is so 21, 17. And then, yeah, this is your 50 rounder. I'm gonna try this one, I haven't used this one before, so. Cool. So we got our big stick, which is probably going to make this Glock a little thicker. Yeah. And it takes 33 ammo. So if you're not sure what ammos work for your gun, you can just do a link search. Find your ammo. Find your rounds. And if you're not sure which ammo you want to use for your weapon, there's actually a dev official spreadsheet that has all of the values for these weapons their penetration value their damage um the percent of damage that gets transferred to the target after the armor blocks it there's there's whole science videos on how the ballistics work but if you're curious on what ammo you should use i'll leave a link on screen and in the description below of where to look and where to find that information. I believe the PST GZH is the best price point and RIP is the highest damage, but it's really expensive. This is per round. Um, I already have the PST GZH, so we're just gonna use that. Um, and then I can just drag, drag this here. And there you go, I got a fully modded to my needs, Glock. I mean, I would obviously play around with this, play around with a few different mods in offline mode, see if this gun handles the way I want it to, see if there's another gun that handles better. I could take this in, maybe I don't like the sight, switch out the sights. Basically, you wanna look at this tutorial not as me showing you what mods to add, but how to find the mods, how to find different resources to get your mod, your gun to look the same way that you envision it or maybe that you see someone using a gun that you like like you see a streamer they have a gun it handles really well you see what it looks like in their inventory and now you might have the resources to go and find those items and even alter it to your needs so that's kind of where this video is tailored hopefully the, this is giving you the resources if you run into those hiccups you know to right click the items inside your gun, see what mods work for that. There's m millions of combinations. I can't go over every single one, but using the resources I showed you in this video, you should be able to figure out how most guns work, how you can modify most weapons, fit them with the right magazines, the right ammo, and streamline the process to finding a gun that really works for you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a thumbs up. If it wasn't, Leave a thumbs down and a comment on how I can make it better, but thank you for watching either way, and I will see you next time.